Hello and welcome my people with tongues frozen to frozen poles. Or stuck to frozen poles, I guess. Would they be frozen as well? Probably. I guess it's kind of a combo. Don't lick poles, by the way. It's not good for you. Today, we're playing the Frozen Rapids. It's a pretty easy map overall. Uh, we're going to go for a very similar strategy to what we used before. We got Olak going for us right now. Uh, I'm a bigger fan of Azra overall. But Olak's actually really good for the Frozen area because he does magic damage. There's not that many guys who have magic resistance in this area. At least not until later on. So for now, we want to focus on mostly uh, ground-based killing power, which I think in this case is going to be a, a, a probably a double dose of Melting Furnaces. All right, we're going to start like this. We're going to go Melting Smell Furnace. We're going to go for a quick Orc Warriors Den right there. I might sell this later on, just so you guys know. And we're going to go for a high level furnace. That's what we're going to do. Let's do it, man. Block guys in here. Actually, let's put it back just a little bit further. Now, one thing you got to notice is that uh, there's one and two areas where guys can come in. One solid choke point right here. All right, there's also going to be some ships coming in, dropping off some enemies and stuff. But also, later on, there's going to be a, a uh, I don't know if it's a ship or just wall, like an ice bridge or something that kind of piles through, and they come in through here. So you've only got two towers and or any extra stuff to deal with them. It's scary. No lie, man. It is scary. But it is pull offable. All right, so here we go. We're going to go for a quick soul crusher. Send out these guys, and we're going to go for a double dose of these other things. So here we go. Here's the new Viking ship, man. Oh my god, look at that dragon. It's so derpy. <laughs> oh no, a burst attacker. Area damage. What? That's not fun. Alright, so we gotta block this guy off um, for as long as we possibly can. Let Olok kind of do the damage for right now. It's a singular enemy, so Olok's gonna be pretty good against him. We'll go for a quick TP backwards so and get a fourth tier here. And that's gonna take him down. Beautiful. All right. More Berserkers coming in here. Yeah. More Berserkers coming in. Hot. All right. So let's block them off again inside of the range of Furnace, inside of the range of Olaf, and um, go to town. We're going to Soul Crush to the next wave. Exactly what you want to see, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, really pushing it on the Furnace right now, but there's not. I don't think there's going to be any flying units until probably wave six or seven or something like that so um this is actually a pretty nice soul crusher right here we're gonna go for it it's a little early but it's gonna allow me to get my burning fuel now and oh my god we're gonna do it dude we're gonna go for a second furnace here i'm probably gonna get rid of these guys pretty soon but for now second furnace it's ridiculous but i'm not gonna upgrade it all right i'm just gonna keep it as kind of like a uh, a placeholder almost best way I can explain it. Just a little, little baby placeholder. Alright. And for now, I'm going to put a uh, very strong Infernal Mage in the back. It's kind of a weird strategy to get started with, but uh, you're thinking long term, you're not thinking short term. That's the way I like to think about it. Okay, quick Infernal Mage. Quick, and, quick furnace. Again, a bit of a placeholder. Don't want to accidentally build something else there. Uh, this guy may end up getting sold. 49 bucks. Yeah, we lose $21 by doing that. That's okay. Uh, and that's going to be a double dose of Furnace right here. You get the double stunning power, the double damage. You get the guys that are coming on boats that get attacked over here as well. Uh, it's it's a great, great strategy. But I might end up doing something even weirder. I might get a lot of random archer towers kind of spread out over here, which is something I don't normally do. But against flying units, it's a good way to deal with them, you know? So here we go. We're doing great. I'm going to get my Infernal Major Bridge. Just in case anybody sneaks through, I basically, I got it covered, you know? Alright. Um, I was thinking about TPing, but it doesn't matter. You know what? Let's save the TP for these two guys, the Berserkers. We're going to go for a quick TP here. Ba Boom. Send them back. We get a good bundle of guys, and we soul crush them. <laughs> oh my god. Talk about epically beautiful right there. All right, so before anything too bad happens, we are going to go for that fourth tier Infernal. And we've got our first Nanok Warbear coming in. These are medium armor with charging enemies. Woo! Medium armor, high health enemies that uh, uh, can kind of just charge through your defense here unless you block them. So with my craptastic uh, guys over here, this could be a little tough, man. Hopefully you get that, uh, that real damage going there. 
Furnaces actually aren't supposed to be good against these guys. That's the weird thing about it. But check this out. We Furnace Blast these mofos into the, into the underworld, man. Or Old Luck's helping too. He's got th up to 30 attack per shot. Plus his abilities. Oakley Oakley, fourth tier Infernal, one kill away. There we go. More Berserkers. Um, I don't really like dealing with these Huntresses, man. They're just kind of annoying more than anything. Like, I don't know. They're just like, oh, I'm going to kill all your guys. Oh, crap, Chris. Suck my balls. So here we go. This is going to be a little wild. These guys are going to be a little bit stronger than I'd like them to be. I think I'm going to go for a quick TP again. Not because I need it, but because I think it's going to help me out by just getting a really nice, delicious soul crush in there. Kills everybody but the War Bear, and we're ready for our next wave, which is going to be flying in it. So we're going to finally pop in our Shadow Worker here. All right, we're going to go as high as I can with my Shadow Worker. I'm going to rely on my Infernal Mage to keep me alive here if anybody sneaks through my entire defense. But this guy should help me out quite a bit, hopefully. And there they come. Don't forget, Olaf can also attack them, which is quite beautiful, I might add. <laughs> and we get a nice teleport soul crushing combo. That's the way you gotta do it, man. If you ever are using the teleport, you wanna teleport to soul crush, and you gotta think, you gotta try and think ahead. It's not always the way it's gonna work out, but if you can, think ahead, and I promise you, it'll go very, very well for you. So far, one thing you're gonna notice, I wish you could see like the amount of damage that this tower has done. It's almost zero. Our defense is based off of this furnace right here. It's done everything for us, man. Everything. Alright, so the Shadow Archer up here are gonna take care of these flying units. Um, I feel like they do a kind of a weird mix where they're gonna set up a crap ton of guys this way. And just a little bit of wyverns over here, you know? He'll deal with them. He'll kill them all. It'll be beautiful. So believe it or not, I'm gonna go for another Furnace. Holy crap, Bola, dude. I know. You're thinking, Chris, you're going Furnace crazy today, man. How are you going to take care of these flying units? With this guy. With this guy. And with my, when I sell this guy, I'll do that as well. Alright. Perfection. And I go, got to go all the way up. I got to. If you're going to get a Furnace, man, usually all the way up, except for this one. Except for my placeholder Furnace. Except for the uh, old type that I say, ah. Ah, I'm just gonna do it because I can. Olak, I really haven't even moved him either. He, he's my he might he's microing himself basically. Um, the one thing I, I do for my heroes though is I almost never put them on top of enemies unless I absolutely need to. You know, certain heroes you can, but most heroes you probably don't want to put them on top of things. Keep them for a safety net unless you're really trying to get your experience up. And one thing I've noticed is uh, all of the guys with ranged attacks tend to get experience way faster. So you can cut them in a really nice spot and just let them sort of just whoop, 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 toss from a freaking distance here, baby. Take them down. Look at these chumps, by the way, man. Look at them. He's kind of angry about stuff. Why, why are you angry? Oh, be chill, bro. Be chill. Ooh. Ooh. This is actually a little rough right here, man. There's a lot of Berserker guys over here. We're going to try and get a decent pile up here. We're going to try and pile these guys up. We're going to go for a Soul Crusher. We're going to set up the next wave here. We'd let the Infernal Mage actually deal with that last guy over there. And we've got, oh my god, Apex freaking Stalkers coming in here. Now that is mediocrely scary, guys. I'm going to go for an early TP here so I can get this going. And uh, you're going to notice, this guy's got high magic resistance. So against Olok... They're beautiful. They're so strong. Same thing with these Apex Shards, guys. Beautiful. Magic resistance. Let's go Burning Fuel. Let's go Red Hawk Holes. And uh, Olok surviving, man. He's a survivor. Still, don't even need to move him. <laughs> I, just, I, I didn't even do that on purpose. It just so happened to be a beautiful spot for us. Um, a beautiful spot for us. All right, Olak, he's still surviving. No, no! Run away! Run away! All right, we finally got to move Olak over here. That's all right. That's all right. Um, we're going to sell these guys now. We're going to end up going for another Infernal Mage. I lied. I don't want an Infernal Mage there because we've got to deal with these Apex Shards. We're going to sell We're going to go for these Shadow Archers. Um, Toasty! Uh, I should have gone for a high-level Shadow Archer faster. 
That's okay. Olaf should be able to deal with this guy. Should be able to deal with this guy. Holy crap. With that high... Oh my god, there it is! We might... We might die here. We might lose a life. No! Olaf says no. He says no, I'm not gonna let it happen, man. Alright, that's what I like to see. Apex shards again. Uh, I usually don't like the crows, but I need a little bit more physical damage in the backpack here. And that's just the way to go right now, you know? It's the way to do it. <sighs> Alright. Um... Let's tiddly italy see. We're gonna go for quick TP. Boop, boop. Send them back. Go for quick soul crush here. Not a perfect soul crush, but it's pretty well played. Um, I've got no barracks units at all, and Oluk is not a good stalwart. That's why this ends up being a somewhat odd strategy, to say the least. So the next wave early, that it's gonna leave some Apex shards alive before the next wave. I've got my TP ready if I need it. Uh, I'm gonna go for it here. We're gonna TP back so our, our uh, guy can hopefully kill this shard quickly. And we get it covered. We get it covered. Beautiful. So hot right now. Oakley Doakley. Um, you can tell that Shadow Archer there may have seemed like a misplaced tower, but you're gonna notice these flying guys are getting maybe not completely killed, but pretty well uh, destroyed. And that's why I'm gonna think I think I'm gonna get a second one. You know, just go Shadow Archer, dude. So we, go, we actually got a pretty good bundle here. Let's go for that Soul Crusher. An arrow to your Two fourth tiers right next to each other. Kind of goofy, but it works. And we still got four more waves to go. Now, the enemies aren't going to get much more difficult down here. But they will get more difficult in other places. So we're going to go for our double Orc Warrior down over here. Kind of as usual, man. Just kind of put them down. Even if they die, they're just they're just literal meat. That's all they are. There's meat for me, man. Um, I'll get a teleport here. Oh, why not? You know, if we could teleport them back, we got a double teleportation set up. It's pretty solid, dude. I'll get this, too. It's not super-duper important for me, but I feel like that little tiny bit of help here is going to go a long way. Uh, I'll get another random Shadow Watch over here. And I'm going to go for the uh, Burning Fuel and Red Hot Coals, man. The Red Hot Coals kind of across the board here is going to work perfect. Oh, I got it, guys. Ooh, watch this. Watch this. Abrasive Heat. Boom, baby. We get two of these guys covered. Uh, I, get, I think I got to go for a next level. 30% bonus damage on both these Shadow Archers. Ooh, that is nice. That is really nice. And that's constant, man. 30% bonus damage, and we can go even higher. I wonder if they stack. I don't know. Oh, here we go. We got a new enemy coming in here. The Ice Witch. Freezes units, summons units. I... I got you, brah. I got you. That's where these Shadow Archers come in, man. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this guy just a little bit further back. Put them sort of both as far back as I can go. All right, I feel like our defense really came together solid. Uh, one thing I've noticed about Kingdom Rush is, yes, I might struggle in the first five waves. I might even struggle in the first ten waves. But at the end of the game, when it really, I feel like, matters, when you could easily lose 15 lives or 20 lives in a single spot, I usually rock it, you know? So uh, I, I push it because I send out waves early every single time. And... Uh, you know, that allows me a little bit more gold. Kind of makes everything just a little easier in the long term. So we're another Soul Crusher. We're ready for the next wave. Look at that comeback, guys. We got another one ready to go here. And look at all this money. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. I think we got to go Gro Crow City, man. We got two cities there. Or two cities. Two crows there. Crow City. I guess we do have two Crow Cities. We got one Crow City here, one Crow City there. We got the extra damage on this guy, so we have to do it. We'll upgrade these guys just a little bit. We got... Three Nanak, four Nanak War Bears, kind of all in this little general area right here. So we ended up going for a quick teleport. <laughs> and I'm going to go for a second level Red Hot Coal, second level Red Hot Coal, second level Red Hot Coal. I can't believe I never got the burning fuel on this guy. What the heck was I doing? Burning fuel, dude. Look at that. I'm going to upgrade our orcs just a little bit more. Um... 
So this is going to be kind of goofy. We're going to go for kind of early teleport here. There's going to be a lot of guys lined up over here, man. A lot of guys lined up. But we should be able to take them all down here. Hopefully. Oh, no! We don't! And we lose a life! Oh, man. That next wave early killed me. Oh, for a full life. But we're still going through it, man. We're still powering through. I don't know how to spend my money properly. I think I should go for... Let's go for another Infernal Mage. It's not good against the Ice Witches, but I'm hoping that it kind of helps me out against the other ones. I gotta fight, you know? Um, maybe my Nanak War, uh, War Bear thing did not work out for me. Who knows? Who knows these days? Nanak War Bears? mean nothing to me. You're garbage. I didn't get the burning fuel on that either? What was I doing? This, uh, nothing's in range. We just wasted our money, dude. Sh wasted. Alright, look at it. Dead. Alright, we're gonna soul crush again. Not really necessary here, but don't forget you basically get it right back if you use it on weak units. You want to use it on weak units, not the strong units. So what I got here, uh, I think what I got to do is I got to go for a, a Lava Fisher back here. We're going to go for a Lava Fisher here. And... I'm noticing these Apex Shards, man. They are ridiculous. Without any Barracks units in the back back here. Without a hero that can actually block things. Whew. Olok, man. He's doing damage, though. I gotta admit, he is doing some really sexy, delicious damage here. Every six seconds, we do some uh, insta-kills here. That's pretty freaking sweet. Look at all these war bears. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I get so much money. I get so much money from these war bears. Holy crap. But you can tell, the amount of stunnage that I've been getting out of my uh, random orc dents down here is awesome. You just teleport them backwards if you want to. Ooh, orc dents. Oh, Captain Promotion. Full on Captain Orc right here. Victory is ours! We get that three stars, guys. We did lose a life on it. Um, but uh, we power through. And we get the mausoleum. Oh my god. Freaking beautiful, dude. Yes! We got Mortimus and we got the mausoleum. That is wonderful. So I am definitely going to be using the mausoleum, guys. 100%. We're going to equip it. Uh, we're going to get rid of... Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Dark dark Knights there. So we're going to get rid of that for now. And I'm probably going to switch out the Bone Flingers for the Shadow Archers. Most likely. Uh, as far as upgrades go, now we can start doing... Oh, I never even used my upgrade points from last time. Uh, we're going to go for this. We're going to go one, two, and demon guards. That's going to be pretty powerful for us. I'm pretty happy with that. And for our new hero, uh, we can check out... Ooh. Margosa or Mortimus. Now, I'm not a big fan of either of those guys. Uh, Margosa's okay because she really can't die. Mortimus is okay because he can spawn some units. Uh, if you get them up to the max level, they're not both not bad, but I'm going to stick with my free heroes until I get to, uh... I could probably use Tramon. Tramon's okay, Jigu's pretty good, and then I'll use all these guys if I get up to the levels for them. You know, 25 and stuff, but I'll, I'll check out all these guys, man, for sure. In fact, I should probably stick with Azra, to be honest, but Olak, also 12 points on Olak, holy crap. Uh, let's do... Um, yes, and yes, unbelievable. Oh, yes, definitely. And yes, all right. I don't care how much I'm teleporting, man, as long as it's a TP. That's good for me. It'll actually mess me up, maybe. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed, pretty, pretty please press that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.